Hi folks, this is Andy from the Carver Teak and this is today's project. I've been waiting a few weeks to get my hands on this beast, okay? We did the headlight restoration a few weeks ago, but today's mini project is going to be a very good clean on this Super Impreza WRX um, in a lovely shade of blue. So, nice dirty cart to start with. Okay, so we're going to be getting full treatment. And we're going to be using the three bucket methods, so one with shampoo, one with clean water, one dedicated for the tyres. And we're going to do our normal routine, citrus pre-wash, um, a snow foam pH neutral shampoo, um, and then we're going to have a good survey of the vehicle. We've used the paint depth gauge, and it's around about 100 microns at the moment, so not, not too much to play with. So we'll give it a good clean. We'll then see whether we need to cut clay and machine polish it and then hopefully we'll get an opportunity to use the Shelby ceramic infused wax. So step one is going to be giving this fine chariot a damn fine wash, so let's do it. So that's the car washed and because we're planning to um, more than likely clay machine polish this you can see here the car is peppered in fact quite bad with tar so we're going to use a fallout spray to remove any embedded iron contamination um, and then we're going to go around with a tar and glue remover um, because as we all know to get that best shine and finish chemical decontamination clay we're going to probably mop it or get one or two stage pass with machine polisher then apply the, uh, the Shelby wax so lots and lots of iron and tar so I'm not going to time warp this one because it'll be quite boring for you but uh, we're going to do that now and then we'll get on to drying and inspection of the paintwork okay so we just uh, decontaminated it and that just shows you that's all the tar that's come off 
the vehicle. So as we used a fallout spray, there was a little bit of fallout coming off, but lots and lots of tar. Okay, so sort of the next step, right, is I'll just get my uh, Asda to quickly do this. A quick test to see if you can't need to play. Just put your hand in the bag and just gently run it over the bodywork, okay? And as does that feel gritty under the bag? Yes. Yeah, okay, so it's just a nice simple test just to see if your car needs clayed. So we use a combination of, because there's two of us, a clay mitt, which is you just put your hand inside the mitt and the actual composition of the material, okay, basically emulates the traditional sort of clay bar. So we're gonna, as is gonna use clay mitt, I'm gonna use a clay bar, okay, and we're gonna fully clay this lovely Subaru. Okay, and then have a look at the paintwork, which I would suggest needs machine polishing before we put anything on it. So uh, we'll crack on. Okay, so that's it, clayed. Um, just took two of us about an hour, and that just shows you when you wash your car, it's just getting the dirt off. That is embedded contamination due to the sticks and the clay is extracted out of the clear coat. So a very, very worthwhile step. All right, and it's coming along now, inspecting the paintwork. Okay, it, as you can see, definitely needs machine polish. So, because we've used a considerable amount of clay lube, we're going to give this a quick rinse down, dry it up. Me and Az are both going to get the machine polishes out, give it one pass, might need two, and then on to protection. So, uh, let's crack on. So folks, that's it. Uh, we finished the machine polishing. We uh, did a two stage in the end with a medium compound and a sort of a light finishing compound with a Roops DAs. And pretty much all them swirls have come out. It's starting to look how it should. So a really, really nice paint surface to try out this Shelby wax and uh, so far the colours really really popped so we're just going to give it a quick uh, spruce with some panel wipe to remove any polished compound residue okay and then it's on to the bit that I've been waiting for trying out this premium car wax from Shelby that the reflection is coming on nicely so uh, we'll quickly give it a panel wipe and then we'll crack on Okay guys, the exciting bit, the bit we've been waiting for, I just come inside because it was uh, getting a bit blowy outside. So, on to the important bit, the actual wax itself. Now, Shelby have kindly sent me both of these and I'm very, very grateful because these are stunning products. They're currently selling two at the time of this video, okay, which is October 2020. They've got the more commercial brand, however, there's still only 200 of these uh, made okay and the collector series one and i think there's only about 80 of these made for the global market quite a big difference in price okay this is currently retailing around about 150. this one has come down in price it's all about the timing because we're getting to the end of 2020 this is coming come down from around about 80 to about 50 pounds so it's really really good time to get it now the collector series one is, is a stunning stunning piece of work um you can also buy sort of their, their specially commissioned coasters okay and the actual wax itself is absolutely stunning in this glass jar with like I said this specially commissioned lid all right it looks absolutely amazing and I'm going to be honest I'm going to be um and keeping that one um as part of my collection I'm hoping they're going to release 
uh, one for 2021. All right, but okay, this is the one I'm going to be using. Now, the difference between the two is essentially that one's um, sort of higher um, sort of percentage of um, of the active ingredients. Okay, so both of them can contain canobal wax and beeswax and the nano, um, the ceramic nano stuff as well. Okay, but look what this kind of stuff has got. Okay, it's got Brazilian ivory grade canobal wax, New Zealand manuka honeybee wax. It's got the ceramic content as well. Now, the beauty of having ceramic in a wax is Ceramic um, is often associated with the, with the word nano. Nano just means small in the context of detailing. So the beauty of applying a product like this is when you're applying it onto the surface um, of the paint, because the particles are so small, they have the ability to sort of get in and sort of mask or fill minor swirls and scratches. All right, so I see a product like this as sort of a blend between a glaze and a wax. You're getting the sort of glaze aspects in terms of being able to sort of fill and temporarily, temporarily mask scratches, but you're also getting the, the canobal wax in terms of the protection. All right, so we are going to be using um, this one here. All right. It looks and smells absolutely lovely. All right, this is my first contact with this wax, and I'm, I've been looking forward to using it for a long, long time. We're going to be using it with a, a high-quality applicator, and as per the instructions, we're going to apply it to the whole of the car and make sure each pan is left for at least 15 minutes. Okay, and then we're going to buff off with a um, separate, clean, high-quality microfiber. All right, and we'll have a look at the results. Okay, so... Um, so far we've tested quite a lot of the Shelby um, range, um, it is um, high quality products, alright, it's not, I wouldn't argue, I would argue it's not your entry level stuff, it's, it's, it's quite high level stuff, um, it is slightly more expensive, but to date, alright, um, uh, TCB feel it fully justifies the slightly enhanced price, it is high quality components um, and it's very, very, very good quality, so I've got high confidence for this, alright, so we're going to crack on and apply this hopefully wonderful wax okay so let's do it okay guys so just before we uh, time warp me doing the entire car I've just started doing the uh, the roof okay and I've got a nice applicator pad and uh, make sure you wear gloves you don't want to get any of your sort of uh, skins oils all over your paintwork as you've uh, made this much effort to prep your paintwork and um, you can quite easily see I'm just putting it in in the uh, the pot all right and gently apply this wax now there is a bit of resistance but that is because it is a wax all right but it's nice and easy you don't need much as with uh, applying any wax less is more okay you don't want to put loads and loads of wax on in one layer, one layer. otherwise when you do remove it okay you're going to get that ghosting effect so nice thin coverage of your wax just keep an eye on it while it's still applying the wax that's fine Right, nice and easy okay sort of like a cream feeling to it okay so I'm going to carry on okay it's turning into a beautiful day I want to carry on applying this so uh, we'll put on a time warp and good times So that's the whole car with the wax applied and just to quickly show you this has been on for about 15-20 minutes and this is how easy it is to take off. So so go by the instructions, they're there for a reason and that is how easy this wax is to take off super just keep going until it naturally the cloth glides constantly turning the cloth over to expose fresh unsaturated cloth and like I say I'll probably go through about five or six of these cloths I'm very very keen to keep clean cloths on my paintwork because I've taken the wax off and look at the finish so I'm not going to time warp it, I'm just going to do the rest of the car and then we'll have a look at the results and have a bit of a summary chat at the end, so good times. So folks, all done just before the rain and OMG, 
what a difference okay this little pot of goodies has come up the trumps because the color has just popped out of this car effortless to put on effortless to take off and considering the state it was at the start That has just transformed this car. Now the NSL has to respray the spoiler. They're not his wheels. Um, the original wheels are getting powder coated at the moment. Look at that reflection. I know a lot of work went into it in terms of clay and decontamination and machine polishing. But wow, wow, what a difference. So. Shelby Car Care, official licensed product, they're 2020 wax, available from Clansman Scotland, stunning, stunning wax, okay, really, really good, I'm, I'm almost uh, convincing myself to try their sort of a collector series wax, because if uh, this is that good, OMG, what will that other one do, I might, I might dip into it, so Shelby, once again, have come up with another stunning product in their deliberately limited range but fantastic so uh, I think the owner is going to have a very pleasant surprise so Shelby thank you very much for sending me this product okay now um, I'm going to give the owner the um, ceramic detailing spray for when he uh, washes it and sort of topping up the wax okay and we are planning in the summer next year to strip this car right back okay do a multi-stage um, machine polishing and put the Shelby ceramic coating on as well so uh, this is one happy Subarus so good times and I'm looking forward to uh, trying new products from Shelby very soon so guys before I do wrap up um, I'm just uh, throwing this uh, video in at the end and um, that's the um, ceramic detailing spray Okay, I'm going to be giving the owner. Um, I did use the um, Shelby shampoo, um, which is all part of their sort of um, ceramic range. Okay, it's uh, perfect for pre-treatment before you ceramic um, coat your car or use their ceramic infused wax or as an after shampoo. Um, and that's what we're going to be using in the summer, the Shelby ceramic coating. So um, a very well thought out range, hence why I'm sort of doing this after video. Um, it, all goes together and it works really really well I'm off to uh, order some more shampoo okay because the this shampoo is can be used as a snow foam so on this video I use that as the shampoo and the snow foam so uh, that's it okay um, I look looking forward to um, using the ceramic coating next year okay um, and a fantastic range that I will be using um, regularly on cars that I detail so uh, fantastic and um, I bid you farewell